This is the streamer lighting kit from Loon Cube, and what makes it stand out against the competition is its internal battery and thus multi-purpose use. And that's having been designed originally to be used and optionally cable free and on the move. In the box, you'll find that bicolor LED panel with a snap-on diffuser. This panel is relatively lightweight at just 188 or 206 grams and comes in at a length of 151 millimeters, width of 80 and depth of 9.8. An adjustable desktop stand with ball mount is also included, which will enable you to place it higher than a 24 or 27 inch gaming monitor in landscape with a webcam on top. Though unfortunately it doesn't quite reach higher than my 27 inch in portrait so if you need that you could also opt to pick up one of their suction cup mounts from the website which could also be great for your webcam by the way. You additionally get a separate cold tube mount for a camera, a micro USB charging cable and a mini USB to USB adapter if you'd like to use it as a power bank. Now unfortunately, whilst there is no USB Type-C cable included, you do also have that as an alternative option for a power input on the side. Finally, there's a soft touch pouch for when you do find yourself on the move. Now on the side of the panel, you'll find some dedicated buttons. The top one doubles as both a power on long press and toggle for brightness and color temperature on short. Brightness can be adjusted in increments of five from 5% right the way through to 100. And depending on the level, you will get a varying amount of juice out of that internal 4,000 milliamp battery. Now at 5%, it's advertised to run for roughly 7.5 hours at 50% three and at 100% 1.5. Plus you can always choose to leave it running off USB power too, which is something I appreciate since I can then select a cable length to fit. So how does it perform? Well, here's my Logitech Brio at 1080p 60 FPS. The top left image was taken at night with all of the room lights turned off. We're running exposure at minus five and gain at 128, which the higher gain not only adds a ton of grain into the image, but also drastically worsens the effect of my monitor when changing scenes in game. So for example, going in and out of buildings and muzzle flash. The top right is the exact same shot, but this time with my ceiling light turned on. This enables me to bring down the gain to 20 and it honestly does a pretty damn good job, especially when small and in the corner. However, unless you have a white wall for light to reflect, then depending on where you're positioned, you will experience varied results. The bottom left was taken at 11 a.m. with the blinds to my right open and thus utilizes natural daylight. This is my preferred way to play in terms of visual comfort and also enables me to drop down the exposure to minus six with gain at 20. That said, both the time of day, sun and weather will impact your quality output. So unless you opt to utilize the often hit or miss automatic exposure, you'll probably find yourself tweaking levels throughout a stream. Finally, on the bottom right is my Loom Cube, again at night. At this point, our webcam actually looks pretty damn incredible and it not only adds a level of consistency, but now there's near zero impact due to my monitor. Two panels would allow me to soften any shadows behind, but I could instead opt to utilize it with my ceiling lights. But I'm honestly just really happy with the result as is. But for my next step, I'm currently considering some RGB lighting, placing it behind my Japanese room divider, hooking it up to synapse and playing Twitch notifications through. I think it'll look pretty cool. Three. Two, one, fight. So my final thoughts. Well, for me, the LoomQ panel has been an absolutely fantastic addition to my streams and its benefits have continued to extend to my YouTube videos as well. I read this thing from January and before that, I always had to wait for the perfect time of day to utilize daylight for B-roll in reviews. And now I don't. I also don't have to run my ridiculously bright seeding light from start to finish of streams. And in that respect, I can also set the color temperature to a warmer 3200K, which is certainly nicer on my eyes. If I do find myself gaming off stream in the evenings and in darkness, I can then opt to flip the panel around on the desktop stand and brighten up the white wall behind my display, which is a nice added bonus that helps prevent eye strain. Sure, the Loom Cube might not sync to your desktop computer, but those dedicated buttons are more than sufficient, and I love that USB power and internal power bank to help light up those harder to reach areas and take with me to events. In all, despite Loom Cube providing this for review, I'd absolutely recommend considering one or two for yourselves if buying lighting.
Anyway, if you've enjoyed this short and sweet video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more in future, and if you have any questions or comments, then make sure to let me know down below. I could have made this video indefinitely long, but there's not much point when you can otherwise see up-to-date results on both my video reviews and weekly Twitch streams. So for now, take care, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.